we're up early in the morning. We spent all day yesterday at Conception and it's been the plan all along to move on uh, probably down to Rum today. But uh, we're up listening to the weather. There's a front coming in uh, from the north. Down here listening to the single side band radio. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll get out there and see and try to sail and uh, go to wherever we're trying to go. <laughs> the weather has stayed the same as what we thought it was going to be. We're going to follow along with our plan. We'll go to Rum Key today. It's about 21 nautical miles away. Uh, we'll spend the night there and then we'll take off and do a 24 hour run to Mayaguana. So the wind's died a little bit, we're still sailing along. I'm able to enjoy my coffee now. <laughs> we can already see Rum Key off in the mm. distance. We've been gone from conception uh, less than an hour and a half to Anchorage, so basically you can start to see Rum Key not long after you round the corner there. So we had a little rain shower and came out the other side of it. Winds are back up again. Sailing on towards Rum Key. We got up here close to the northwest side of Rum Key and just made our tack. Gonna head uh, over here and then tack back and sail along the south side over to our anchorage. Lindy has assumed her position on the low side of the boat. She likes it over there better. <laughs> So we've made our tack and now we are heading in towards southwest corner of Rum Key. And then we should be able to see Port Nelson, the town, and we'll start to head into our anchor.
in here getting anchored. We're in about six and a half feet of water. Open ocean right out there with a reef in front of us giving us a little protection. And here's Port Nelson, which is a little town on Rum Key. And over here's the coastline we just sailed down. All right, we'll get the anchor set and figure out what to do next. We've gotten ourselves all worked up and a little nervous about uh, <laughs> our upcoming passage to Mayaguana. We've just done some route planning and look at the weather and uh, so what else do you do but go to town and find a nice watering hole? What do you think, Lindy? <laughs> also, the anchorage here at Rum Key is a little rolly. <laughs> Always graceful dinghy entrance. <laughs> uh... Well, <laughs> this is the marina that it showed in the guidebooks <laughs> where we were planning to come hang out. Looks like a storm may have gotten it since that guidebook was written. Well, I certainly never saw anything that looked like a working marina or a restaurant. I guess we're going to try to find a place to tie up and uh, see if there's anything we can find walking around town. Let's see if there's anything we can find on Rum Key. I think we found the spot. Kay's bar. It appears to be open. A rich man's dream and a poor man's paradise. All right, let's check it out. Kay's bar. We got a sign into the guest book here. Awesome. Wow. We enjoyed sitting around in the simple sand floor room of Kay's Bar, which seemed to be the only open establishment on the entire island. Kay showed us a history book of the island which her mother, Dolores Wilson, had written. As we sat, I read the whole book which told of less prosperous times and more prosperous times throughout the history of Rum Key. Just two boats in the anchorage. Definitely still rolling a good bit. Oh man, it's gonna be a wild night to try to sleep if it keeps up like that. We've double checked the weather again and we think it's gonna be sometime between a noon and 2 p.m. departure tomorrow for an overnight to my iguana. So uh, now we're just gonna chill out on the boat the rest of the night. The rocking was a lot worse outside than it is inside, we hope, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll see. It seemed like it for a little while, but a minute ago we got going pretty good. We'll see how it works. Yeah, so we'll see how well we sleep tonight, but here you can see things shifting back and forth as the boat rocks. Here, let's see what it looks like as we come outside. Uh 
<laughs> well, it certainly was a beautiful sunset. So it's gotten nighttime here, and it's a clear night with some moonlight. Huh. It's nearly a full moon. And there's our mass wildly swinging back and forth. <laughs> Water is cool. All right, it's 11 a.m. We just stopped anchor. So we're headed out for our 24 hour plus passage to my iguana. So uh, we're pretty nervous, but we've got the boat all prepped to go. The weather looks right. Come along for the ride. Waiting for the wind to talk around a little beside us, which is supposed to. Then we'll be able to turn off the motor and sit up a little. So well, it. it's mainly just pounding yeah. into the way. Yeah. But sitting up's good too. Yes. We're trying to sail to what we made as our first waypoint, which is kind of arbitrary, just a point somewhere northwest of Samana. And uh, I don't know, it's lumpy out here. We're into the wind, but uh, we're just hoping that the wind clocks around like it's supposed to and gets more on our beam. Uh, it'd be a little bit more of a comfortable sail. We may be doing this uh, for about the next 28 hours, 30 hours. It is pretty out here, uh, deep dark blue water. been moving along now for about three hours. Sailing's going very well. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to get a nap so I'm rested and can do more uh, watch at night. Lindy will get back here and be on watch and uh, I'm going to go down below and try to sleep. Five hours in now and the wind has uh, moved around to our beam somewhat, which is uh, what we were hoping for and what was uh, forecast. So it's a little bit more of a comfortable sail. pasta salad that Lindy had pre prepared <laughs> and now Lindy's downstairs taking a nap. It is 4.30 so uh, nice relaxing sail uh, for the last little while here.
It's Lindy's turn for her watch. It's uh, 11 p.m. Still really bright outside with the moon. And I am going down to get a little rest. So see y'all later. It's 2.30 a.m. I just uh, got done with my nap. And now I'm on watch. Lindy's downstairs resting. We're going by the island of Samana right now. We've passed the Tropic of Cancer again, back into the tropics. After six hours of sailing into the wind and pounding into the waves, we finally got some nice beam reach sailing for about 10 hours. This nice sailing continued through the night, allowing us to get much needed rest as we took our three to four hour turns on watch. But in the early morning, the wind switched. The wind is not cooperating with us and the seas are lumpy. So we've had to turn on the motor and we're kind of just going right into the wind right now. This is slow going with this motoring. Hoping for the wind to swing on around like was our plan. But the wind doesn't always do what you plan for it to. Lindy's listening to the weather this morning on the SSB receiver. Ah, there's the sun. Very nice. Motoring into the wind and waves was definitely a change from our smooth night sailing. As we pounded into each wave, it brought the boat almost to a complete halt, slowing our progress and making our arrival at my iguana even further away. Still just motoring. I risked life and limb to make it, so I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> we got some blueberry muffins that Lindy pre-made before the passage that we'll be eating when we feel like it. How many miles to Maguana till the end? 42.7, and what time is it? 9.30. 9.30, all right, maybe we'll make it in daylight but we need this wind to finally come around and let us sail because we're not making very good time motor sailing into these waves recently we've got really big ocean swell coming behind us it doesn't make sailing bad or anything it doesn't cause any problems it's just kind of interesting to look at it just passes right underneath of us. We go up in the air and then come back down smoothly. But in front of us, we have wind chop. That's what we're bouncing over. And we're well past the time when the wind was supposed to switch over to the west and we'd be sailing and making good time as it is it's going to be right at dark when we need to go into the reef at the anchorage the sailing has gotten a lot smoother since the winds off our nose we're moving along we just had a tanker go by us just keep on moving along Woo, this is good. Get, I was getting a little discouraged that we might have to sail through another night or heave to or uh, I didn't know what we'd do. So I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> Even though we were still motor sailing, the small shift in wind allowed us to make much better time toward our destination in a lot more comfort. We're 29 hours into our passage. We've sighted my iguana. We got some cell signal. Texting people to tell them we're doing good. We got about two more hours before we can anchor. We got to go around Devil's Point and then go tuck in under a reef. I think it's called Abraham's Bay. 
We're 1.1 nautical miles away from Devil's Point in my iguana. And we've just for the first time gotten 45 degree winds off the nose where we could turn the motor off and sail. <laughs> oh, we've had it running for like, it'll, it'll be about 12 hours once we finally get anchored. The total passage ended up taking us 32 hours, with 12 of that motoring into the wind. We've entered Abraham's Reef and uh, we're going to go try to pick out our anchorage in the dwindling sunlight. Lindy's up there looking for coral heads and uh, this is where we're going to anchor. It looks wide open where these boats are out here anchored, but there's a coral reef surrounding it, protecting it. So. We made it. <sighs> Abraham's Bay, my iguana. Lindy's getting the anchor finished up right before the sunset. 31 and a half hours after we left Rum Key. Wow. There's apparently a settlement back over here somewhere, but I don't think there's much on my iguana. The anchor set good, Lindy? Yep. All right. Glad we're here. Me too. Look at this water. We're in about 15 feet right here. It's just crystal clear. <laughs> and then out here, this Abraham Bay, is just a huge bay surrounded by a coral reef that kind of keeps off the waves from, you know, really the ocean that's right there. It's thousands of feet deep just right off the reef. <laughs> oh, all right. Good night, see y'all tomorrow.